My name is Austin Gardner. I want to speak to you about allegations and accusations made by Becky Nelson Earnhardt. Becky came to live in our home in the early 1980s. Uh, she came after a struggle, a fight, some problems at her home. She ran away and her dad called me. They didn't have a car. I went and picked Becky up. She lived with us for six months and we tried to instruct her and help her to grow so she could return to live with her biological family. After about six months, she returned to live with her home and stayed there for a month or more. And when she called and said, I want to return home. My dad says, I can, I want to live with you and mom. She wrote me a, a letter and she said, I want to call y'all mom and dad. I want permission. Becky became a part of our family. She lived in our home, 1180 square foot home, three other children and Becky and Betty and I, one bathroom. Becky was a part of our family. So she came under our discipline. Yes, I disciplined with a paddle and with a belt and I, uh, disciplined all of my children in the same way. Everything was wonderful. I cannot ascribe to you the warmth and the love and the sweetness in our family. Yes, on more than one occasion, the children would memorize Bible verses when they had done wrong. They would memorize Bible verses to try to get scripture into their heart. We had a wonderful family. Becky uh, came to lived with us until she was 19 and went off to Bible college at Trinity Baptist College. We drove her to college as a family. We left her there in college and she even asked not to stay. She returned to visit us in Mexico. She returned to visit us in Peru. We had a wonderfully close family. In 2004, some accusations came out. It was a shock to me. It hurt me deeply. I couldn't believe it but it was taken before the board of Macedonia World Baptist Missions. I was not allowed in that meeting. Becky did not attend that meeting, but her husband, Jonathan, took a letter with accusations about me. Those accusations were discussed, investigated, questions were asked, it was dealt with, there was no corroborating evidence, and I was told to continue with my work. And I went back to work on the mission field there in Peru. Then just the other day, a video, a horrible video, drops and I'm called and told to watch a video. I, can't extra, I cannot describe the hurt and how it tore us up. But I want you to know that Vision Baptist Missions has gotten an independent investigation. I stepped away so that they could investigate. I don't want to hurt the cause of Christ. I don't want to hurt the name of Jesus and world evangelism. The independent investigator is investigating this situation to see if there is cooperating witnesses, testimony, anything. At the end of that time, I will be found innocent. And when I am, I intend to return to my father's business and to do what God called me to do. Thank you for listening to this video and thank you for praying for us. Hola, soy Yolanda Arce, tengo 35 años, uh, estoy casada, tengo tres niños. Um, conocí a la familia Garner a la edad de 8 años, uh, bajo su ministerio, mientras pastoreaban. Yo acepté a Cristo uh, y mi familia también. Uh, gracias a Dios que la familia Garner estuvo en nuestras vidas, en mi vida y en la de mi familia uh, han sido una bendición para nosotros y <coughs> ellos uh, Chris y Andrea nos pre me presentaron a la familia Enhart uh, y yo pasé tiempo con ellos viví con ellos Conozco a su familia, sé cómo son, así como también conviví con los Garner, sé cómo son. Entonces podría decir que casi desde los ocho años hasta la edad que tengo, uh, siempre he visto en los Garner 
la integridad que tienen en el ministerio, uh, en todo lo que hacen. Sé que han sido de mucha bendición aquí. Sé que ha sido de bendición. Dios los ha usado mucho. Podría pasarme mucho tiempo detallando cosas uh, acerca de los Enhard y acerca de los Garner. Porque de los Garner he, he aprendido muchísimo. Y sé que son, van a ser de mucha bendición. Han sido y van a ser. Y agradezco por ellos. Agradezco por los Garner. Y porque sé que Dios los va a usar. Hello, my name is Betty Gardner. I've been married to Austin Gardner, the love of my life, for 48 years. In 2004, we received accusations from Jonathan Earnhardt that absolutely rocked my world. I can't explain that to you because Becky had been our daughter And we had no idea that there was anything wrong at that time. When those accusations were made, I thought my world had crumbled. And then in just a few days ago, when we watched the video that came out, and she said that I didn't care about her, and I never helped her, It just broke my heart because we have so many letters from her from over the years. I've saved, I've saved all of Becky's stuff. I probably have more of her stuff than I do my own blood children. And I just, I thought about those letters and then as I began to read through them, I just, it broke my heart. We have letters from when she lived with us, from when she was in college, from when she got, after she got married. And I just, I'd just like to take just very quickly and read one of the letters that I just ran across that says, Mom, I just wanted to say thanks to the greatest mom in the world. I don't guess I'll ever be able to ever explain to you just how much you mean to me. Thanks for all the encouraging words you give and even for the better you, you better watch it words. Thanks for making me what I am now. I realize I'm not the maturest person you know, but when I get there, I'll owe it all to you and dad. Thanks for making me be a lady too. I'll be better at it one day. With every bit of love I've got, Becky. P.S. Thanks for being there when I need someone to talk to. You're better than a best friend. Please help me be more of a lady and help me be more prepared for college too. Love you. Hugs and kisses. That's the Becky that we knew. And I have no idea where that young lady has disappeared to, but she was my daughter and I loved her.